Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you on the Thursday, 19 March. The system is uh, blowing apart as we speak. Uh, not really sure where to even start. Uh, I guess we start with Euro Norway. Euro Norway is trading at 13. I don't even think this is um, this is updating. No, not even updating. So yesterday, Euro Norway went from 1150 to 1250. Today, it's gone from 1250 to 1300. So it's a 20% deval uh, on the Norwegian Corona. Obviously, this has a little bit to do with the oil price, um, which is 22 bucks, but it's more to do with just the utter lack of liquidity. Um, there's just no liquidity out there. And so every position is getting stopped. The market is just hunting pain. Um, so in, the, in one of the bigger understatements of, uh, of the week, be very careful out there, people. Dollar yen, same thing. Last night went up to 109.56 in a massively risk-off environment. Why? Uh, because the market's short dollar yen, stopping everybody out. Um, Dollars are 17.50. We talked about this. This is going to 20. Uh, the recent highs, 17.80. Uh, once we get through that, it's you know, you just don't know when this stuff's going to stop because there are no market makers left. There's no liquidity out there. Um, bank traders aren't allowed by law to trade from home banks capital so as people get sick uh, as there's less traders there's less liquidity you see it's like this huge loop of illiquidity um, massive shit show gold this will be a pretty interesting break trade it's through 1450 makes no sense I know but the risk parity uh, liquidations are going to continue and part of the risk parity portfolio is long gold. Short bonds, uh, same deal. Just sell bonds. Uh, pick your poison. You can you can sell tens. Uh, you can sell boons. We like we like boons. Uh, boons boons jumped up to one seventy forty um, today. Not sure what what that was, um, but you can sell anywhere on the 170 handle between 170 and 172. You can resell your boons. Um, this is just part of the mass uh, risk parity unwind. Stocks uh, obviously totally fucked. Uh, 22.58 the low yesterday. Pretty good close. Traded back up to 24. Two, uh, but then right back down today. Twenty four sixty, the high, uh, right back down. Been down to seventy five. Trading at seventeen, I guess seventy five would be close to um, limit down today. So remember, in the Asian session or in the European session, minus five percent is limit down. It goes limit down pretty much every day. Um, just going to keep selling stocks. One of the uh, interesting research pieces that went around is uh, the only way this liquidity trap is going to be unwound is if um, they revoke the Volcker rule, which will just add to liquidity. Um, let banks start buying distressed debt. Uh, and let banks put some of these investments on their balance sheet um, until they do that nobody uh, nobody has the appetite to buy this distressed stuff and um, when there's no buyers markets can only go one way specifically uh, what do we have on our mind today oh yeah cable cable traded down to 114.70 uh, here we are, 114.97. A lot of people were talking about capitulation, uh, but 
doesn't really look like it doesn't really look like it yet capitulation is you'd see a big bounce off the lows here we are right back at at 115 the figure uh, who knows where cable could go to could it go to 110 could it go to one uh, could it go to 90 cents sure uh, all of this could happen uh, you just don't know in, in these conditions uh, how far and where stuff are gonna go um, again there are no buyers nobody's warehousing anything nobody's putting on long-term positions nobody's value uh, putting on relative value trades these are the typical trades that would stop uh, say Euro Norway from dropping 20 percent or stopping cable from um, basically dropping 1500 points in one two three four five six seven trading days one thousand five hundred points it's the equivalent of euro dollar going to point nine four uh... anyway uh, i guess the main focus today is going to be on uh, gold we'll be watching closely at this fourteen fifty level uh, selling bonds as per usual uh, try and sell high ones if you can in the currency space I really don't know uh, we'll see if we get a print in dollar rand at 1780 um, and in the stock space we'll be just flexible tactically trading this both sides uh, with our eyes out on the news uh, news sector um, you can make money both sides in equity all right, listen, uh, good luck out there. Stay safe. Uh, put your position sizing accordingly, according to the lack of liquidity. Uh, we're now officially in survival mode. Talk to you tomorrow. Ciao.